Yeah. It's going to relate to Biden and Hunter. Hunter Biden. Oh, is that Hunter's crack money? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Woody Show. And moving right along, like I mentioned, the DNC, the Democratic National Convention, is underway in Chicago. And we figure what a great time to break out one of our many Woody Show contests. This one is called Zero to Political. Yeah. Zero to Political. And admit, you can't talk about anything with somebody somehow. And a lot of times, like, how did you even get from that point to this point? Well, we witness it daily on the text. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Psychopath. We're talking about French fries. Right. Somebody makes it political. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's like something about Trump or yeah. something about Kamala or something about, like, red state, like, blue state right. kind of crap. It's anyway. always fresh and always funny. Yeah. yeah always. It's Amusing. The, yeah. But you know those welcome. people. They're so one-dimensional. Like, everything is through the, the lens of right. politics. Yeah. And so they can't see, as the example we brought up, the Martha Stewart soup recipe that got posted on a website. And how many comments did it take to get before somebody made a political comment based on the soup article? It was like two. It was like the second comment in. The first one was like, oh, that looks good. The second one, well, I bet you Trump has the same color as that, (laughs) that, uh, you know, gourd soup or whatever, (laughs) pumpkin soup. (laughs) Gourd soup. Whatever it was. <laughs> soup do gourd. Soup do gourd. <laughs> All right, so Seabass has some of the articles, then he'll give us a multiple choice of how many comments we have to go before somebody takes it political. And what is the first article, Seabass? This is that story where the colonoscopy doctor did not hear his patient awaken screaming. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, on account of the doctor didn't have his hearing aids in properly. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, just a medical malpractice story. And it's, it's funny because it's where... Where, the butt. The butt. Oh, yes. okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. I, I thought you like, meant like where the story happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The butt. Um, <laughs> no, Australia, how's the, their pie? Because he's in his butt. Is the the, the, the you know colonoscopy? Yeah. So does the colonoscopy failure story get political in more or less than two comments? The oh. butt. Less. Less. It's got to be less. And bonus well, points for how, of course. At the uh, point would be old. I, I wish this had age. happened to fill in the candidate. Oh, that you I think hate. it's going to yeah. be related to Biden because Biden's old. Something about oh. yeah. retire Trump. already, or this is why they shouldn't still be old uh, white men. Kind of thing. Mm. Old no. white men, Trump, Biden, somewhere along those lines. I'm with Sammy on the old angle. No, I think it's going to be like, oh, uh, if this person gets elected, this is how it's going to feel. Yeah, this is oh. going to be Kamala's oh, yeah. America. This is going to be oh. Trump's America because oh, yeah, they're going to be up your ass or yeah. you know whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Right. Well, guys, a little bit of good news. It it, it took three comments Ooh, actually. A lot. Hmm. And uh, <laughs> DeSantis will make him Florida chief medical officer in three, two, one. Get it. Okay, terrific. Wow. All right. That so, um, person's fun at dinner that, parties. All right. I think he gave you the cute yeah, countdown. Yeah. 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 All right. Wow. Zero to political. Hilarious. What's the next article? <laughs> <laughs> Anticipation. <laughs> more uh, more medical news here. This is a weird story you may have seen where there's these, these cluster of brain problems in Canada, New Brunswick specifically. Just this, it's kind of a weird neurological syndrome, kind of like that Cuban disease, which is, but not really, but it's this, this small- What's the Cuban disease? That was the whole thing where the people in the uh, embassy down there, the CIA folks were saying they were getting these splitting headaches. Oh. They thought it was some kind of like brain weapon where people, like the Cubans were zapping them or whatever. Oh. Turned mm-hmm. out maybe to be nothing or psychosomatic, but yeah, it's a, a weird cluster of brain disorders in New Brunswick. That's all it is. Okay. Checking things out there. Does it get political? Brain disorder. You can like clearly make a (laughs) Biden joke. Well, or just anybody, any of the politicians. More or less than three comments. Brain dead idiots. Less. Oh, less. And yeah, Biden got hit with the brain laser or something like that. (laughs) Right. It'll be. This is what Biden has. Yeah. So less than three. It's just the beginning. It is two, by the way. No. Second comment is. All right. This is just the beginning. It will spread nationwide. They call it. Dem brain. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Terrific. Never All right. Mind. This is in Canada where the yeah. Democrats are not a thing. Right. Right. <laughs> right. That's why I was confused. I was like, wait. That I just shows you, yeah, you could have how... been like a Justin Trudeau joke or yeah. something like. That now, just shows you how insane these people are that they're just searching out stuff yeah. so they can get these jokes off. Dem brain. Oh. I mean, yeah. you know how that's just so catchy. That is a very good. Uh, that's good. I'm gonna write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, zero to political. More medical news. This is a new at-home syphilis test. 
Okay. Well, that's or, helpful. Yeah, I guess yeah. you. It's like it's like a little you know blood uh, pinprick thing on your finger. Too embarrassed All to right. go to the doctor yeah. to get yeah. your right. syphilis checked out. Now All they right. say that when you take this little at home test, if it, because if you see that you may have syphilis, you're supposed to go to a real doctor to get it confirmed and then treated, of course. But this is the first at home version. So if you again, if you are you're just curious, do I have syphilis? That's the story here. Does it get political in more or less than two comments? Hmm. Hmm. Um. More. I'll say um, less, and it's gonna two be comments. Re- more. More. And I think it's gonna have to do with COVID at home tests. Uh, oh, that's a good. Oh, yeah. That's a good angle. I was thinking more about like uh, all this stuff that's come out with Trump and the allegations of you know um hooking up with porn stars well i mean yeah there's that the hush money stuff and then uh who was the other woman who just got a big uh, settlement out of him stormy no there was some no, other no, like I, she's, I forget she's her an older name. lady yeah. now yeah. yeah that's the woman who she sued him for yeah, defamation yes. or something Some, something yeah. uh, whatever but uh, apparently they had like some kind of fling or something. I, I don't know i think it's gonna be somewhere along those lines so I, i'll say i'll say more but i'll say it's along the trump lines i'll say less and it's along the kamala lines Oh, because she was slept her way to the top. Or right. Whatever. I say it's more and it's Trump. All right. Well, you guys, it is more. It's three. Three whole mm-hmm. comments. Okay, nice. And it is Trump. Okay. But not in the way that you guys expected oh, at all. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> so okay. here it is. I like Third to be comment. surprised. They made this at-home syphilis test for the orange turd <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> due to him being too cheap for a doctor. Oh. Okay. okay terrific. Because wow. he notoriously is, he is cheap. What? Pay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's why they say humor has to be based in truth. Like, yeah, what? Like, is I, he yeah, notoriously I, cheap? Well, as in notoriously, they say allegedly for not paying bills. So uh, I guess you consider uh, that cheap. Right. But he bought the at-home syphilis. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah. way to go, sir. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Uh, let's get uh, one more. <laughs> Again, this is <laughs> zero so to weird. political. Great story. Uh, there's, there's a treasure. There's a treasure thing, like the, one of those online deals where they this guy gives like a code, and you go and you follow the codes, different places. Mm-hmm. And yeah, somebody, oh, a treasure hunt. Yeah. Somebody buries, you know, a, a little metal box with ten thousand, or in this case, twenty five thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, follow that. Was buried. You know, there's geolocation, caching, and yeah. all kinds of fun things. Well, father son duo did it. They found the twenty five thousand dollars. They're of Utah, Damon and Ty Johnson. They did a had a fun father son trip. Yep, yep. That's awesome. Solving riddles, puzzles, fun time. Does it get political in more or less than four comments? Less. Mm. And it's going to be the angle of uh, the Democrats are going to take all your money anyway. So uh, why'd you waste your time? Yeah, less and yeah, the, like taxes less? angle. Yeah. What was the number four? Four. Higher or lower than four. I'll say less than four. I don't know if that's the angle, though. Uh, in Biden's you? economy, how much is See, that? I'm, yeah, you're going to get five relate, bucks. Yeah. It's going to relate to Biden and Hunter. Hunter Biden. Oh, is that Hunter's crack money? Yeah, something like that. Or, <laughs> or I think about maybe like people people will be like you know having to bury their money as opposed to digging. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, oh, like they should have left like it there. hide your money because they're coming after you know. Yeah. That's, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, I'm saying less, and it's going to be Hunter Biden related. You guys are on the right track with the the the, um, the reason, but it actually is more. It is the fifth comment, guys. Oh, oh wow! Okay. People are really slowing down. Yeah, yeah. take it easy. <laughs> yeah, settle down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy life. Uh, with twenty five dollars thousand dollars, they can't even afford to buy a stake in Biden's economy. Oh, okay, okay oh, wow. terrific. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> mm. But okay. who reads that article and that's your takeaway? I know. Yeah. That's your first thought. The like, chick oh. I was thinking about is E. Jean Carroll. She accused uh, Trump of rape. Remember that? Right. Yeah. And yeah, but it was like, you know, department store, right? A dressing room. Yeah. 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 Like, New York magazine. And, yeah. It's the whole thing. And they got like a, a big settlement out of that. Uh, yeah, obviously which, of course, being, being Yeah. $83 million. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. I'm like, Jeez. Yeah. All right. Well, that's how you play Zero to Political. <laughs> nice. And hey, we know people like that. If you want to play the at home version, just find any innocuous article on social media. <laughs> and, and you're then, playing. Yeah. Yep. And then check the comments. Right. It's fun. You join in on the fun. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So this woman is claiming that Delta Airlines, an employee, struck her multiple times with a beverage cart. Okay. Left her seriously injured during a flight to New York. She's asking for unspecified damages and is also calling for the employee to be fired due to negligence. Huh. Was this flight attendant running down the aisle with the cart and like 
demolition derbying this chick. And did it repeatedly? Yeah. Like, are you one possible. of those people that uh, sticks your knee or your leg out into the aisle when they mm-hmm. clearly tell you, hey, we're coming through with, uh, with the cart. beverage service? Was she so well, fat she could not do that? She could yeah. not be in the aisle. Or maybe she was sitting next to some fatties and got pushed out. I don't know. Into the aisle. Because that but, uh, happens. Struck her multiple times with the beverage cart. How are you seriously injured by that? Well... How could you be serious? Let's just think it out. How could you be seriously injured by well, that? Well, again, if you're like uh, being like pushed out into the middle of the aisle and the back of your arm gets hit pretty hard, I've been hit by it uh, a couple times, and it does hurt. I haven't been injured by it, but I don't know. What happened to this lady? Maybe a fracture or something hmm. like that? Yeah, if it was your Sounds maybe like a money ankle grab to or me. something. It, right. My main question is how did it happen more than once? How would it happen multiple times? Maybe on the way down mm-hmm. the aisle and then on the way back. I, I don't know. That I don't know. But I don't, uh, I'm, I don't. And you also want the employee fired? I don't buy yeah. it. <laughs> I demand firing. I, I can understand maybe it was an accident, but that's, I want to demand somebody getting fired. That's also my favorite. I demand they be fired. Right. Because that'll Ooh, fix cool. it. Uh, another flying news. This Chinese woman who refused to put her $3,000 Louis Vuitton purse on the floor for takeoff. I want it. And it's she kept luck. it on the empty seat next to her. And so she was removed from the flight. Uh-huh. The pilot returned to the gate. She was detained by police and what? everyone on the plane that filmed the incident Sweet. and then shared it on social media. Uh, reaction is mixed. But look, I-, I think this is ridiculous all around. Don't you want to leave? Yeah. Just, yeah. Put, just put the stupid thing. They always say put whatever you have with you under the seat in front of you right. or in the right. overhead bin. And you're arguing about keeping, you, you can make an argument for the people mm-hmm. who make the rules, but these aren't the people who make the rules. These are just the flight attendants, the staff of the airline, uh-huh. and now you're holding up this entire plane of people. I don't understand just because, why it can go in the overhead bin somewhere. Oh, well, they it's say a $3,000 not- bag, see. Well, then they say you're not supposed to put small bags in the overhead bin. You're supposed to keep that open for the larger items because people throw their hat and their jacket up there. Totally. Yeah. Got, like, I've got something that actually needs to be up there. But to tol- your- turn around the plane for all that? Well, Somebody the, said uh, the flight attendant could have offered her a bag to put her bag in <laughs> and then on the floor. Is it really necessary to waste an hour and kick her off the plane? But uh, other people, of course, you know, ripping on the uh, the passenger herself. Like, the flight <laughs> yeah. attendant did not insist on the rule for nothing. The woman should value her safety and that of the other passengers rather than the bag. Yeah. Right. And to your point, Greg, Greg Menace, is that if, that if she's not willing to, again, play by the rules that everyone mm-hmm. knows about... Yeah. Then that's oh, okay. You don't have to. Yeah. Well, it's also, one of those situations where you got to set a precedent. Right. Yeah, you can't be catering to specific people all the time. Yeah, why are you coming down on the wrong side of history? It's a bad example <laughs> for all the other. Right, and if she if she doesn't obey you yeah. there, where else will she not follow right. the rules? Well, also, yeah. she's not really rich if she actually cares about putting the bag on the ground. Oh, damn. Yeah, poser. Yeah. Are there, they're are pretending there, to be rich? Are there bag covers for traveling? I imagine they would. Be. Yeah, they're, they, they, when you buy yeah. them, they come with covers. They're like <laughs> dust bags. No, they covered, do. They're yeah. yeah. I've seen the most ridiculous with, things like, more recently because people are spending, I guess, outrageous money on designer luggage. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. okay, it's being thrown around yeah. by the baggage yeah. handlers and under the the gut of the plane. Yeah. And you're buying this crazy expensive luggage, which okay, it's mm-hmm. if that's what you want. But then people are yes, they're they're. I see them wheeling them around the airports with like those old lady couch cover looking things, like floral like, prints. Yeah. It's no, it's clear plastic, so you can oh. see what because yeah, God forbid, to you got to be able to show off the what brand. the bag that is. That would be uh, defeating. You're right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I've been seeing a lot of that more recently. And at first I was like, what's going on? And then it, it then it it, it it occurred to me. What a goddamn These orders. people are spending so much money on their luggage that Ugh. they're like they're putting these, and that's how they check it. They'll check it with that stuff covering it, and they'll wrap it kind of in tape. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that the covers don't come off while it's being thrown around. But then, why would you buy a bag that expensive if you were that worried about it? Yeah, right. about how it's being handled. It's why not would... even a carry-on. These are yeah. full-on. Like you'd never be able to get these on a plane in the overhead bin. They would never qualify size-wise. Have to check they it. have to be checked bags. Like, yeah, that's then crazy. Why? A carry-on makes sense to me, but a checked bag, no way. Yeah. Nah. Uh, then there's this chick. Her name is Erin Wright. She showed up at the airport when she went to go to the check-in counter, and they uh, they told her that she had been banned by American Airlines. Why? Like, what? So she books the trip, gets to the ticket counter, like, no, I'm sorry, you're banned from American Airlines. Here's what happened. I went to check into my flight on my phone, and it didn't work. So when I got to the airport, like, an hour and a half early, um, I went to the kiosk, and it also erred. And I started to get nervous, so I just went to the help desk for American Airlines, and... 
asked them to check me in and they were really nice and they were like sure so they go to check in and it errors for them too and they're like oh don't even worry you probably just put your name or your birth date in wrong when you were checking when you were entering your information when you bought the flight let us call someone and get it fixed and i'm being sent through the craziest loopholes to figure this out I then finally get an email from corporate security telling me that I have been banned because I was having sexual relations with a man on a flight while intoxicated. Well, let me tell you, I am a 24 year old lesbian. Do you see me? Am I having sexual relations with any man? No. So life is really silly. Um, I ended up on the American Airlines no fly list by accident and I'm now out a thousand dollars. So if you could please interact with this video so I can get my money back, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for joining my story time. Oh yeah. Cause, oh. Uh, yeah. And I guess I, the, the follow up to that is American Airlines is covering her thousand thousand okay. dollars obviously cool. okay, well she has a very yeah. common name so i could see their confusion yeah <laughs> yeah and you just, oh, so just roll with the story it sounds kind of hot yeah, yeah. it couldn't Sweet. be me i'm a lesbian yeah. yeah it doesn't mean you were having like you know and then the heterosexual judge, sex the you could have been, says, are you prove it yeah you could have been scissoring in the bathroom or something <laughs> yeah. and we don't know yeah something really hot yeah my defense is lesbian yeah <laughs> my guess is one of these days greg will end up on the no fly list oh why absolutely because you're gonna freak people out yeah like, you you're know. gonna be all weird and stuff yeah they're but like I, this getting, guy hey I, I could volunteer to be on it i would love oh yeah, to yeah. yeah. well I Greg, all, all the flights you take are so necessary yeah, yeah. Exactly. he's gonna be all <laughs> hyped up on zannies and alcohol oh he's yeah that, be, see, that could be the other and, reason and the, he's, he's gonna, gonna be and, naked on the flight right and he'll what? like he'll be like fumbling around and the yeah. flight attendant oh he groped me or whatever oh, yeah. no oh. i was just out of my what mind what can i but do I'm to gay yeah but i'm gay what can i do to get on the no flight uh no fly list while not having to do any jail time. Stuff like this. The that's sex, what I'll yeah. do. Yeah. Sex on the plane stuff. Yeah. Really? Just have sex what, on the plane. Could I just Joe or something? Or the, uh, yeah, well, probably. then you're on a sex offender uh, list. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Does it have yeah. to be sexual? Refuse to put your purse on the, uh, ah, on the ground. On the ground. <laughs> yeah, somebody said she was probably superstitious. Apparently, if you put your bag on the floor, you'll be broke. Yeah, that's what I said initially. That's how it works. That's why you're not supposed well, to put your bag but, on the ground. That's the case, At restaurants. And don't fly. And stuff. Yeah. Or don't have that belief because you're an idiot. Well, some yeah. restaurants have those little the like hugs. stands they'll bring around, little or like a, you'll see at the bar. You'll see mm -hmm. that now. Like uh, there'll be little hooks underneath the yeah. ledge of the bar if you're sitting at the actual bar. That makes sense. But they have purse stands, like like, like luggage. Yeah, racks? They're little yeah. Yeah, these like little kind of like table high things, and they hang the purse from it because it's oh. the super. Or they'll bring around a little basket. This uh, sushi place that we like to go to, they'll bring around a little basket, and then they'll put like my wife's purse in that basket. Oh, that's so cute. So it's useful that's and fun. Yeah. <laughs>